So, you want to learn the secrets behind creating a faceless YouTube channel with AI automation? Stay focused, I'll take you there. You see, let's go back for a few months. A new and trendy method for making short videos, like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, appeared. Many YouTubers jumped on the trend and started creating content about it. But there's a twist. They all followed the same method, using a fictional reference channel as an example. This one. Their focus was mainly on creating short videos about psychology facts. Well, this content idea was incredibly popular for a while, and early creators in this niche enjoyed significant success. However, as more and more creators entered the scene, the market became flooded with identical fact-based shorts. This oversaturation made it challenging for newcomers to stand out and achieve similar results. However, we can use this powerful AI technique in a more innovative way. That's why today I am bringing you the ultimate method to help you outplay the old one. I will continue using ChatGPT and Canva in this video, and the content I'm currently working on is set to push the boundaries further. Let's look at some examples. This YouTube channel right here is about riddles and quiz. And yes, these types of videos are getting monetized on YouTube even for the short form ones. How do I know? Simply install this extension on Google Chrome and you'll know if a channel is monetized or not. As a matter of fact, they are gaining millions of views, making them thousands of dollars monthly. And to be honest, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They earn much more than this. Plus, YouTube is pushing short form videos which have better chance to become viral and young people also favor shorts. So what's the key to their success? Very simple. It's their way of grabbing viewers' attention, piquing your interest, making you concentrate on cracking the quiz and riddles while increasing their watch time and go viral. You can tell how much people love these types of videos just by looking at the comment section. I hope you're feeling excited now. A subscribe would mean the world to me. Now let's go to ChatGPT. First, we need a prompt. So, I asked ChatGPT to create 10 interesting quick riddles about world locations for the audience to solve, following some specific guidance. Instead of world locations, you can change the topic to anything you like, such as traveling, cars, food. The list goes on. I also leave the prompt in the description. Feel free to use or modify it to your liking. Click Generate, and let ChatGPT handle the riddles for us. There you have it. 10 World Location Riddles And because ChatGPT cannot create 100 riddles at once, I'll use this prompt to generate 50 more riddles. Repeat this process until you have 1,000 riddles relevant to 1,000 shorts. Moving on to Canva. Then, click this button on the top corner. To create a design, you want to choose the Instagram Reel template, as its dimension is for short-form videos. Okay, let's start designing our riddles. First, we need a background. I will go to this box and search spiral background. These background types seem to push the viewer's engagement lately. You can play around and choose the one you like. I like this pink one. It looks delightful to me. Then stretch it out to fit the format. Next, we will add our questions and answers. Click on the text tab. Add a heading. Rename it to question. Then move it to the top and align it to the middle. I'll add another text and name it option A. Then move it down a bit. Now go to the Elements tab and search for a text box. I'll use this one for the question. Then add another one for the option. Again, just play around to see which one fits your style. Nice. So far so good, right? Remember to lock the background so you won't accidentally move it when you edit the text. Then choose the text and press Ctrl plus D for Windows or Command plus D for Mac to duplicate the option. Move the duplicate one down a bit and Ctrl plus D again two more times. For the last text box, I will delete the text inside and change its color to yellow. This is our correct answer illustration. You'll get what I mean in a minute. I'll make some quick adjustments before moving to the next step. Also, add a timer to push audience's response, a great way to increase engagement rate. Voila! The basic design for our riddles is almost done. Great work, guys. Let's preview it. Awesome! 
Next, let's add some animations to our text. I'll select everything, animate, and choose the fade option. For the answer box, I will change it to the stomp animation. That looks much better. Oops, I nearly forgot the timer. Let's also add the fade animation to it. Perfect. Now, we will adjust the timing so the timer and the correct answer pop up at the right time. All right, choose the timer. Right click, show timing. I want the timer to appear five seconds after the question and options. So, what I will do is, I'll trim it till I get to the five second point. Nice. Next, do the same for the answer box. We want the correct answer to pop up when the timer goes off. Find the point where the timer ends and trim the answer to that point. Fantastic, we're almost done. Now go back to ChatGPT. Copy the result you've already generated earlier. Go back to Canva, choose the App tab, Bulk Create. Click on Enter Data Manually, clear the table, then paste the riddles here. Name each column with relevant names so you won't mistake it. Click Done. Now, we will attach the questions and answers to the riddles. Right-click at the question text, choose Connect Data and Question. Do the same for the options and connect them to the relevant ones. I will also change the font type to Montserrat, so the text would look better. To choose the answer, we will have to do this manually based on the answer we're given. For example, if A is the answer, we will move the yellow box to it. Make sure the yellow box layer is above the white box and under the text layers. Let's add some background music and sound effects. It will make our design more vibrant and alive. I will choose happy music as the intro and a ding sound for the correct answer. Remember to adjust the sound effect to match the animation timing. Hit play again, let's see what we've got so far. Pretty cool, right? Hang on tight, we're almost done. Now come for the last step. We will finish our bulk creation. If the results you've created earlier disappeared like this, don't worry. Simply copy and paste it in again. It only takes 30 seconds. Then hit continue and generate 49 designs. Well done guys, now you can relax and make some small adjustments to your text so it could fit the box. Let's preview it one last time. Repeat this process and you'll get 1,000 shorts ready to be up and running in no time. Thank you for making it to the end. I hope you like this video and subscribe so you won't miss my upcoming videos.